previous Renault Megane didn't just shake its ass when it hit the market in 2002, because it also swaggered in safety, being one of the first ever cars to be awarded a maximum five stars by the Euro NCAP. The problem was it felt flaky and poorly constructed in a way that only French cars can. You can imagine these surly workers slapping the thing together whilst bum sucking on the filter of a gouloir, probably employing the underhand technique. I'm intrigued to see if the new Megane is made with that same sense of French fagash. Renault claim it's now lighter and more responsive, yet more robust. They forgot to mention more boring too. I'm very dismayed that it's lost that angular arse. This new shape blends anonymously with the crowd of Golfs, Focuses and Astrises. Tell me, Renault, where's the flare gone? Où est les flares? This is a 1.9 diesel with 130 horsepower, and it'll cost you 17 and a half grand. That's about 500 quid cheaper than the equivalent Ford Focus, and this manages to be about 5 mpg thriftier with an average of 55 miles per gallon. In a time when diesel is still nudging one pound a litre, that has to be good news. There's also what feels like more solidity to everything inside. It's as if all the plastics, of which 12% of them are recycled, by the way, have this time been left to cure properly. There's also one other reassuring fact about this car. Along with Nissan's Qashqai, this is the safest car ever tested by the white coats at Euro NCAP, which makes me feel like Ricky Hatton, cast in bronze. To test how tough this car really is, and its supposed improved agility, we need to take it somewhere dangerous. There's only one way forward. To battle. Welcome to hell, the Megane's theatre of war. A bleak airbase in Siberia, in Leicestershire. And all we've got to do is avoid being shot at by an army of paintballers. The paintballers laid in wait with their guns loaded with fresh magnolia. They'll be giving me a hard time while I put the Megane battle tank through some snowy paces. Stroke! Damn you emulsion ninjas! Where are they? Oh dear! Oh, a bit of paint action. Bloody hell! It's got a very nice, slick six-speed box. The steering, which is all new for this Megane because it's electronic, is very responsive. The car's more comfortable. It also gets to 60 in nine and a half seconds, and top speed, to help you get away from the paintballing baddies, is 127 miles an hour. Can paintballs kill you? One of the things that makes the Megane so safe is the fact that it has revised software on the ESP systems and something new called understeer control. Every time I go to tighten the wheel up, instead of going into full understeer, it dabs the brakes for me and keeps me straight. So in other words, in a real-life situation when I'm not being fired at by IT technicians on their weekend off, I'm actually stopping myself from going into a tree, which is useful. These badly acted death scenes weren't in vain. The weekend warriors' sharp shooting demonstrated that the new Megane is remarkably robust compared to the old one that felt like you could poke a finger through it. So, the new Megane. It's definitely more, more refined than it used to be. It's more planted, it's more solid. The problem is it's got company like the Golf and the Focus in that sector. And you know what? It does come third in that company. It's also not bad if you're being chased by paintballers in the snow, but I personally go for a tank. <laughs> <laughs>